This is the Hover Air X1 Pro Max, and it is the world's first 8K self-flying drone. It can listen to voice commands, fly from the palm of your hands, follow you with rock steady accuracy, records vertical videos, and I'm going to show you 10 big features that makes this pocket-sized drone an absolute game changer. So let's jump right in. Are you ready? Let's go. So this is the latest in a self-flying pocket-sized camera drone. It does everything that the previous model, the X1, does, but now it's more suitable for professional applications. But the thing that's so advantageous is that you can take it out of your pocket, unfold it, push one button, and it will take off from the palm of your hand and fly itself. And get this, there is no remote control, and it will fly completely autonomously, that is, until you extend your palm and it will land on to your hand, but not before you were able to capture professional footage in 4K and 8K resolution. And should I also mention 10-bit video in HLG and HLog profile? Well, these are just some of the amazing features on the X1 Pro Max, and we're going to discuss all of them as well as demonstrating all of their capabilities in this video, but we're going to dive even deeper to dig up and uncover 10 big features on a small foldable drone that basically fits in your pocket. So now that you know a little bit about the drone, let's talk about the Hover X1 app, which is what you'll need to download in order to customize your settings. And believe it or not, you have 11 preset but customizable self-flying modes. And that's what you see when you first get it out of the box, but there are actually 14 that you can use by simply selecting the flight modes that you want to have displayed. And by customizing it this way, you can have all 14 readily available and being displayed, such as orbit, spiral, bird's eye, dolly track, ski mode, cycling mode, indoor follow, 360 spin, hover, and zoom out. And you also have manual mode for manual control just like you would any other drone. But remember, this is not just any other drone. This is the Hover Air X1 Pro Max. And as you can clearly see, it's delivering stunning 4K and 8K video resolution. It's a major improvement over the previous model X1. And just so you know, this video is being sponsored by Hover Air, but I'm giving you my honest evaluation of this amazingly cool Cool upgraded drone. How about if you could use your hands as human gestures to land this drone? This feature is enabled when you select and save the self-flying mode called Sidetrack. This is big feature number one, and the reason is because you wouldn't know about it unless you set up and activated this mode in your Hover app. Now, if you update the firmware on your X1 Pro Max, you will not only get Sidetrack, but you'll get another cool feature called Dolly Track. We'll get into that later. But for now, let's add Sidetrack to the preset selfie flight modes that are in installed by default. Now at the top you'll have video instructions, but at the very bottom that little yellow button that says use sidetrack mode, once you press that then it will be saved as one of the 14 selfie flight modes on the X1 Pro Max. And as you can see you can also go into dolly track and add that as another flight mode also. Now I've already done that so let me demonstrate how this works. Sidetrack is a follow tracking mode where the drone moves laterally or parallel to the subject rather than strictly from front or behind. It's extremely useful for action shots like running, cycling, skateboarding, or other action shots where a side perspective is much more cinematic. Now the cool thing as I mentioned earlier is that you can use hand gestures as commands to make the drone come to you and land. And there are probably so many other big features that I just didn't have time to dig up. Cycling now let's talk about another big feature called cycling mode. And it's designed for specific riding scenarios such as road or mountain bikes and pay attention to how the drone is actually tracking my movements. The algorithm is designed to track and record dynamic footage instead of just static and what makes this so cool is that it will follow speeds up to 26 miles per hour and it's hands down one of the most fun and reliable presets on this drone. Now when you turn on cycle mode the drone locks onto you by using its AI subject recognition and it maintains a perfectly stable follow position behind you and when you speed up it speeds up. When you slow down, it slows 
slows down, and there are no shaky corrections, sudden drops, or weird angle changes. And this is what makes the X1 Pro Max so different than all the others. It has a unique responsiveness to your actions. The third big feature, impact recovery, is one that's not covered often, but it will surprise you. Now observe this. The moment the drone touches anything, a wall, a tree branch, a doorway, or even your arm, there is an internal stabilization system that immediately knows it made contact. And just so you know, the frame of this drone is made of a hyper-elastic material, HEM, and the durability of this drone after a crash is unmatched. Now prepare yourself because I'm going to demonstrate this feature over water. And this heart-wrenching collision allows you to understand that this is no ordinary drone. It detected the crash, disengaged lateral movement, recentered its position, and recovered into a stable hover. And I can't imagine any feature that's bigger than this. So now let's talk about how high this drone will actually fly, and also what is the maximum distance away from the remote controller horizontally. And in real-world testing conditions, especially over water, you may be able to reach a maximum range of 500 meters. And if you decide to use the beacon with the control sticks instead of the app on your phone, then the range horizontally will be extended to 1,000 meters, which equals 3,280 feet. But don't worry, if you happen to lose signal because of distance, there is an automatic return to home feature and the drone will fly right back to the original point of takeoff. Now, in regard to the maximum altitude, keep in mind, as I'm demonstrating, there is no GPS on this drone. So it's important to remember, if you're only using the app, then you're only transmitting by Wi-Fi. But if you happen to be using the beacon with the control sticks, then your transmission is supporting Wi-Fi 5 on 2.4 gigahertz and 5.8 gigahertz. Now, the rate of speed as the drone is climbing or ascending is about one meter per second. And that's not very fast, but you can see that I am pushing to maximum altitude and there we are. It has achieved its highest point at 119 meters. And if my calculation is correct, that's 390 feet above ground level AGL. And that means the maximum altitude achieved was just 10 feet below the legal limit. And for a small pocket sized drone, I would say that's pretty big. Now here's a big question that I asked myself. Am I able to capture live audio with this drone? Well, that's a good question. Let's find out. And I don't think I'll have to do too much because you're actually listening to the audio as it is being recorded simultaneously with the video. And what makes this so big is that the microphone on my smartphone was only 18 inches away from the drone and all of the propeller noise was removed from the actual audio so you can only hear my voice. This is a hidden feature that most content creators have not tapped into in regard to this particular drone. So now that you know about that, let's move to another big feature number six, voice command. And this is where your drone starts feeling like a smart assistant that you can fly. So watch how easy this is. Hi, Hover. Follow. Follow. Close. Follow. And you can cancel simply by pressing the button one time. Let's try another. Hi, Hover. 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 Continue. Hover. Incredible, and you can see how it will fly by itself based on your voice commands. And basically this feature allows you to be hands-free because there's a microphone located at the bottom of the drone. Amazing, and I can stop the process simply by tapping on the button one time before it takes off. And another thing to remember is while you're doing this, you need to hold the camera towards you and make sure that the drone is perfectly still. Let's try one more. Hi, Hover, shut down. Well, this time I didn't hear it say anything back to me. It just shut down. I guess I got tired of talking. Let's move to number seven with some big features on the camera settings on this small drone. And here's the kicker. You're getting 8K and 10-bit H-Log. Are you kidding me? So let's take a look at H-Log color profile first. And you notice that it doesn't really have a flat look even though it's advertised as a log profile. It's not really a true cinematic logarithmic curve such as you would see on S-Log or V-Log or D-Log. It's more of a gamma curve tone adjustment, but I'm gonna show you exactly how I can pull colors out of this profile. And just so you know, I'm using the color board on Final Cut Pro. And do you see now how the colors are just slightly standing out since I've done my color grading? Because H-Log on the X1 Pro Pro Max allows you to tweak the saturation and the mild midpoints without destroying the image. H-Log gives you that small amount of flexibility so you can refine the image to make it look better.
Now the X1 also has a standard camera setting as you're seeing right now. This one was shot at 8K 30 frames per second. And you can see as I'm switching from the color grade over to the standard profile that there is definitely a difference in the way that the colors pop out. But we're going to be looking at the 8K standard resolution right now. And just so I can give you an accurate and my sincere evaluation of this 8K resolution, I was very impressed by the results. Notice how you're able to see the leaves on the trees and also the details details on the fence line and as I move the drone closer you'll be able to see the surface area of the roof very clearly and for a drone of this size with a 1 over 1 3rd CMOS sensor you would think that I'd be able to conduct a full professional inspection of this roof and no one would ever know that I did this with a drone that could basically fit inside my shirt pocket and keep in mind that I'm actually flying about 50 feet above this roof so therefore we have to give credibility to the 1 over 1 3rd CMOS sensor and the 8 K resolution at 30 frames per second. Now let's talk about another big feature and that's the tiny beacon and remote. And basically we're talking about a 1.78 inch OLED screen that can mount magnetically on my bike. And if you purchase the cycling combo, you will get the magnetic mount that will secure the tiny beacon. Now there are two other attachments you'll get to magnetically snap onto the beacon. And this is how you build this tiny remote controller. And the locking clips on each side secure the attachments. And by positioning the holders you now have a place to mount your smartphone and what would a tiny remote control be without some tiny thumbsticks and you can see I'm manipulating the control sticks and they feel just like any other remote and at the very top there's a little red button where I can power this thing on and once you plug the short USB-C cable into the remote and your smartphone then you have this setup working perfectly now if you want to keep this setup portable and compact you can just use this little beacon the drone will be able to track it you'll have a display and also there are control buttons at the very bottom and as you can see I can use this 1.78 inch OLED display as a small tiny touch screen and that to me is another big feature on one small drone now let's talk about the internal storage, the SD card compatibility, and file transfer. But before I get into these other big features, let me ask you a question. What other drone has an internal storage of 64 gigabytes? And without me mentioning any names, there are only three drones that are over the $5,000 price range that have an internal storage capacity of 64 gigabytes. And you can now include the X1 Pro Max as drone number four. This is a big feature on a small drone because you don't need an SD card. But here's the kicker. If you wanted to install an SD card, the maximum capacity of this drone will go up to one terabyte. And you know why that's so big? It's because most drones will max out at 512 gigabytes. And what makes this even bigger is that the other competing self-flying drones don't even have support for a micro SD card, meaning that you couldn't even install one if you wanted to. And because of the file transfer system on this drone, you can transfer video and audio files faster than you can get a divorce in Las Vegas. So with that being said, let's move to number 10, which is the biggest feature of all, and that is the fun factor. It's ridiculously easy to use, no complicated setup. You unfold it, press a button, and it takes off. It's lightweight, you can keep it in your pocket or stick it in a small carry bag. It flies itself and you're hands free. You can go cycling, skiing, hiking, and it will follow you. It has cool cinematic features like dolly track where everything seems to move backwards. And if you're busy vlogging or creating content like I am, you'll never have more fun flying a drone. Thank you Zero Zero Robotics for sending this to me. And if you want more information, I have links and specifications in the video description. Until then, I will see you all on the next video.